Here is a fresh start and another opportunity for a healthy start. UW Health Nutritionist Tara LaRoe is here to tell us what kind of healthy options are trending this year. Thanks yeah. so much, Tara, for being here. Sure, thanks. Well, the first one I have that um, is new for the year 2014 is um, kale was all the rage last year in 2013. Yep. And you're going to see much more of cauliflower cropping up. So cauliflower, rich source of vitamin C, uh, folate, um, phytochemicals that are protected um, in cancer and heart disease. Okay. Um, so some ways you can prepare cauliflower that you're going to see out there um, instead of just eating it raw and steamed, but you can, after steaming, you can puree it mm -hmm. and use it as a cream base in soups and other dishes that would use cream. So you can use it in place of cream. I've never you thought can, about that. It's very tasty and yeah. you can add it to mac and cheese for the kids and kind of incorporate okay. it with other other types of um, mixed dishes. Good idea. And okay. the same, similar nutrition value to kale or is it just different? Um, it, it, it's still very packed with a lot of nutrients mm -hmm. and vitamins. So a superfood um, of um, that always has been, but you're going to be seeing it more, more. Um, in restaurants and just kind of um, in recipes that you'll be um, seeing around on the internet. Okay. Um, the second thing is um, breakfast has been huge for the last few years, and um, adding more protein in breakfast, having a high mm -hmm. um, protein-based breakfast. So protein important um, to combine with a mixed fuel source. It'll give you lasting energy to keep you sustained through the morning. Right. Um, some, so some ideas, um, you know, popular eggs, the Greek yogurt's very popular, and then you're going to see lots more cereals coming and adding soy protein and other things to the cereal. So a little bit more protein. All things in. that I love, so I'm good. I'm good. Okay, good, great. The next two things are coming from the National Restaurant Association, what they're predicting what's going to be happening in the restaurant um, industry. And one thing is that restaurants are really big into um, sourcing local foods, um, meat, produce, and seafood. Right. The second thing is uh, restaurants are meeting the demands of um, consumers wanting smaller, smaller portion portions. size and portion control. And so you're going to be seeing, you know, um, less of this and more of this. Well, I guess the only bad thing is there's not as much leftovers to take home for the that's next right. day, right? That's right. But that's probably a lot better because I always then eat my whole plate and I, I hate myself the next day. So <laughs> thank right. you so much for all sure. the tips today. Definitely great things to keep in mind. I'm going to go make some... Uh, Make some stuff with cauliflower Make later today, Make some soup with some cauliflower puree. Yep, and there's also an open house March 23rd, right? March Manana 23rd to, to hear more about community-supported agriculture. So if you're interested more in sourcing locally for your own home um, and supporting local farmers, you can check out that link. Perfect. Always want to support local, and you can uh, head to news links on NBC15.com for more information on all of this. Thanks so right. much. Sure. All right, well, stay with us. We have a final check on your traffic and weather.